Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Jeff here from Zen Trader. Uh, I've got a lot of things I want to go over, so I'm going to get right into the charts and give you an update on my market timing signal. Uh, it did go positive today, but again, I like to have two closes before I'm going to exit out of my shorts and go long. And it seems like it always happens like this. We've got a big economic report tomorrow. Uh, we've got a three-day holiday. So it's going to be interesting to see how the markets react to the data and if we can close higher after having two days of pretty significant gains. I mean, we were oversold. This isn't surprising. But if we can have a strong close tomorrow that will be enough for me to close out of my shorts and start looking at this market on the long side so uh, here is the uh, chart of the Dow and here's what we're looking at this is a daily and behind the chart of the Dow is the percentage of stocks on the Dow above their 200 day moving average uh, and you can see how it kind the market uh, this indicator kind of follows the Dow right and this is one thing that it's not right now so that's just something I'm, I'm not trying to find uh, bearish uh, things right now this is just something to keep an eye on and we are approaching an area of resistance uh, right here so it wouldn't surprise me to see this market roll over tomorrow uh, we're still negative here on the uh, the negative DI line is still above the ADX and the positive DI line so you know we're not out of the woods here yet uh, but uh, things are improving and if the market can pull out a strong day tomorrow like I said I'm, I'm gonna be pretty much I pretty much have to start buying stocks on the long side uh, here's a chart of the NASDAQ this is a 15 minute and you can see that again uh, where this is a, the first line of resistance uh, and we've got this big gap up and yesterday or the other day I was pointing out how we had the upper and lower trend lines here on the RSI we were, I was looking for a breakout uh, a little bit surprised that we went up but that's the way it goes <clears throat> and you can see how this is this is very this is very positive we're staying above this upper trend line here in the RSI uh, but again you know a little overbought uh, you know we'll see how this resolves tomorrow uh, stocks that I'm looking at on the long side here is my long watch list right now uh, you can you can just go ahead and uh, you can pause this and grab these whichever you want but uh, NZ showed up today I've never even heard of this stock so you know these are the kinds of stocks uh, that could be big winners another one easy ch uh, this is one that i had talked about before i actually remember talking about it at the beginning of august i did a blog post uh highlighting the stock and it's kind of you know basically pulled back to its 20 day and then you know took off so uh these are all very bullish stocks these are all good momentum cvlt this is another one uh, this has a <clears throat> just broke out of a two-year cup with a handle so this could be a big winner if the market does turn around JKS is a real relatively new uh, issue as well so these should all do well if the markets do improve uh, let's see was there uh, oh yeah yesterday I posted a uh, interview with Mark Minervini and in it he spoke about a book called super performance stocks that's out of print and I had some people ask if I knew where it was uh, and one of my readers Mike actually put it up a link on yesterday's post you can find it under the uh, big move coming or false rally if you go down into the comment section down here you can find that uh, out of print book there as well so you know that's the kind of value that I like to bring to you guys here and finally I started reading this book yesterday and I didn't get very far and something that struck me while I was reading it is how this book was written in 77 so it's over 30 years old and I just want to read to you a couple sentences and see if it doesn't sound familiar and it kinda <clears throat> reminds me how 
the more things change, the more they stay the same. Uh, and this is uh, from the opening chapter. We live in the age of the big spender, the politician, who loves to spend other people's money for every imaginable cause, ranging from foreign aid to frisbee research. Washington's big spending is the primary reason for the large hidden tax inflation that afflicts us all. Until the federal government gets its spending under control, if it ever does, the problem of inflation and economic instability will be with us always. I mean, I don't even know what this author would think about if, it, if, if I don't even know if he's still alive, I didn't really do any research on it, but if he thought that uh, our governments had a spending control back in the late 70s, wow, what, what would he think these days? So, anyhow guys, uh, <clears throat> to recap, my market timing signal, it went, it went positive today, it'll, it'll switch to a bull mode with, a, with another positive close tomorrow, uh, and, but it, it could just as easily revert uh, back down and, uh, and I could potentially stay short if the if the uh, markets don't react favorably to the unemployment report okay take care guys bye